Hi, my name is Mika, and I'm working on a game called Mushy Score. Mushy Score is a 2D roguelike where you fight against endless waves of enemies using elemental powers and try to get a high score. It will be released on Steam tomorrow. First dilemma the developers always face is what tools to use. I have used many tools before from GameMaker to Unity and from Trello to ClickUp. Oddly enough, I find these free and open source tools better than their competitors and I wanted to share them out. These are the tools that I use most of the time for the development of Mushy Score. Why I want to use open source tools? Open source gives you full control over the tools you use and you are not stuck if the original developer decides to stop working on the product or decides to change their license suddenly. Open source tools are usually more privacy respecting and you can know that all your data is not collected and sold to random third parties. Here is my list of open source tools that I use. Let's start with the biggest difference to other developers. I got tired of Windows and especially didn't want to upgrade to Windows 11, so I decided to become a Linux user. Linux Mint is a free open source operating system without any spyware. Transition was surprisingly easy and now every time I have to use Windows machine it is a giant pain. All the tools that I use and games that I play work as before, but this is because I use open source tools and mostly play India games. I recommend giving a Linux Mint a try if you are a Windows user. For my game development I use Monogame. It is a free open source c -sharp framework that has been used to create Stardew Valley and Celeste. It is important to note that this is a framework and not a game engine so you need to create most of the functionality yourself. Framework only provides basic functionality like update loop, drawing graphics or playing audio. This gives you little to work with but unlimited freedom. If you are a beginner and want to create games fast, I wouldn't recommend this, but if you have experience with C Sharp, this is something that you can give a try. My choice of code editor is VS Codium. It is Visual Studio Code but with all the Microsoft telemetry and branding removed. VS Code repository is open source but the VS Code available to download is not FLOSS license and it contains telemetry and tracking. VS Codium is just a convenient solution so you don't need to build the editor from the source. It has everything that you need for the c -sharp development but I will say that Visual Studio is better. Visual Studio is not available on Linux and I would rather use open source tools for my development than proprietary. Forgeo is self-hostable Git platform. This is where I store my code in local network and sync it between all my computers. I also host my public code in Codeberg, which is also using Forgeo. It is non-commercial alternative to GitHub. If you are looking place to host your public repositories, I recommend Codeberg. I am experimenting what it's like to code with AI. Tab9 is an AI coding assistant that is trained on permissive licensed open source repositories. It can be used to train directly from your own code repository and it could be even self-hosted. It has been interesting trying out using AI. It is really useful tool for creating simple and repetitive tasks. Asprite is a 2D pixel art drawing software. It is one of the most popular pixel art tools and for a good reason. It is easy to use and has everything that you need to draw pixel art, from animating to automatic outlines. It is open source and you can compile it yourself for free. Or if you are lazy like me, you can buy it from Itch or Steam. Trillium Notes is a markdown based note taking app. It has folders that you can use to di group different notes and it has also some advanced features like support for different diagrams and calendar. You can use desktop application or you can self host it and use it from the web browser. I self host Trillium Notes to have a backup and to have it available on different machines. Tiled is a free and open source level editor. You can create maps with layers and it has even support for objects. It has been used for Shovel Knight and Coromon. It has integration for most popular engines and it is easy to use, although auto tiling is a bit harder to set up. Super productivity is time tracking and task management tool. I use it to track my tasks for the day and see how much I spend time on the tasks. It is a really simple tool and helps me to remind to take breaks and informs me if I've been idle too long. Shotcut is a free open source video editing software. It is pretty simple and easy to use. It is probably lacking features that other more advanced video editing softwares like DaVinci Resolve has, but I'm used to using Shotcut and like using it. Tenacity is audio recording and editing software. Tenacity is a fork of Audacity and good alternative after some controversies with Audacity. It is mostly the same with Audacity with minor differences. 
OBS Studio is video recording software. It can be used for video recording and streaming. I use that to record most of the footage for my videos and have used it also for streaming the broadcast during the Steam Next Fest. It is amazing that this open source tool is one of the most popular recording and streaming applications. GIMP is free and open source Photoshop alternative. I mostly used Sprite for my game art, but for my YouTube thumbnails, I use GIMP. I have really basic needs for photo editing and GIMP fits my needs perfectly. I'm familiar with GIMP and I've been using it probably over 10 years for my picture editing needs. It was even my original picture art creating tool before I started to use Sprite. These are the tools that I use most of the time. It is great that we have these tools that are free and better than some of the paid products. Honor mention to some other products that I use are Mastodon, Thunderbird and Nextcloud. And if you are interested in open source games, check out Mashiscore. It will be released tomorrow on Steam and the code of the game is open source. Go and wishlist it right now and see you in the next video.